Hello again. Today I'm sharing with you a um, little drawing. It's um, a tuxedo cat that I did on a an ACO format, which is two and a half by three and a half. So it's uh, inches, sorry. So it is a miniature drawing. If you've already seen some of my other videos, um, you'll see that the uh, technique is exactly the same. So I'm using a black paper and uh, Prismacolor Premier uh, pencils. The reason why I'm using the Prismacolor pencils on the black paper is because I think uh, probably because they're creamy and uh, pretty opaque um, I think they work really well on the black paper um, as long as you use them properly and what I mean by using them properly I, I don't mean there's like a, a particular way to use them but in order for your drawing to look um, more realistic, I guess, um, and in order to be able to blend your colors and add all the colors you want, you really need to um, add very thin layers. So uh, don't push on your pencil very hard from the start. Uh, what I do is, uh, again, it's what I do is the, what works for me. It's not what everybody has to do, but uh, what works for me is to just add light layers on top of other light layers. And each time I add another layer, I add a little bit more pressure to my pencil. Um, so uh, you'll see that the white, for instance, this is a tuxedo cat, so it's the, the, the close-up of the face is mostly white, but you'll see that with each layer, the white becomes uh, wider and wider. And um, in the end, it'll be a lot wider than the very first layer, and it will be a lot wider than if I had uh, pushed really hard on my pencil uh, while applying the first layer. So I started by uh, transferring my line drawing with tracing paper. And so I traced um, my sketch with, uh, with a white pencil. And then um, I used a regular um, graphite pencil on the other side of the tracing paper. And the reason why I don't start my line drawing straight onto the black paper is because if I ever need to uh, erase, it's gonna damage the surface of the paper a little bit. It's, well, it's not really gonna damage it, but it's gonna show and, um, and I, it doesn't look very good. So all I'm doing really is uh, drawing the fur, just lines representing the fur. And I'm always looking at the ref reference photo to make sure that I'm uh, drawing them in the right direction. And also um, I'm trying to make them uneven and overlap them to make them look more natural because they're not all the same length and all going exactly in the same direction, all parallel to each other. So um, yeah, they're just lines. I'm only towards the end in the widest areas will I just um, color it in basically by pushing adding more pressure because it's really white and I want uh, this area to to be very white and not show as many details as many um, separate hairs so once I'm done with my first layer um, I basically uh, go over the white areas a couple more times with my white pencil. Again, I'm adding uh, each time a little bit more pressure. And um, once um, it feels like I can't really add much more, I'll just uh, use a spray fixative. It will add a little extra tooth to the drawing. And um, that way I can add another layer or two to um, finish the last details. So I'll be able to whiten the, uh, the fur a little bit more and add a few more colors to the eyes and make them shine a bit more. Also for the black area, 
I used to just leave it black, use the black of the paper, but now I use a uh, black pencil by uh, Derwent, and it's uh, the Derwent drawing line. Um, I really like those pencils because they're very creamy, and um, what it does is add, um, it's blacker than the paper, so it adds um, an extra depth. Um, it really makes it stand out a bit more than if I had just used the, pa the, the black of the paper and I really like that. So um, that's what I'm doing and I kind of, uh, to avoid it being too shiny, I take a, a piece of uh, a paper towel and I kind of rub it a little bit, I smudge it. Every so often I use a drafting brush to uh, go over my drawing to remove all the little um, pieces of, uh, of uh, colors that are left behind uh, because the, the Prismacolor pencils, they tend to crumble a little bit, so that helps. And if it doesn't, I usually use a bit of mounting putty that I dab on them and it just sticks enough that it removes the pieces without damaging the paper. So I hope um, I was able to teach you a few tips. I hope this was uh, useful to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. And I'll see you next video. See you later. Bye-bye.